When the pandemic hit, some wealthier school districts had few problems converting to remote instruction. Most of their students had computer hardware, an internet connection, and other vital resources. But other schools had to scramble and quickly find ways to continue to serve their students. Maria Villarreal has the story. I had to come to pack up all your things, and I'm so sad. Today particularly was emotional being in the classroom. At the end of the day, it's more about I feel relationships <laughs> and um, just I'm very passionate about what I do. Cindy Reyes teaches second grade at the Como Leadership Academy in Fort Worth, Texas. What's the hardest part about this? Internet connection, <laughs> uh, availability. These are only eight. I have 22. How do we estimate this number? If we visited Como Elementary in the fall last year. 91% of the school's population is African American or Latino. 94% of these students are economically disadvantaged and more than half are at risk. Is there any doubt in your mind that a majority of your parents were probably having to work during this pandemic? Absolutely. Everybody's priority right now is making sure to keep a roof over their head, feeding their children, and still trying to navigate the world of teaching and learning. Principal Valencia Rhines pushed to get 150 Chromebooks and 11 internet hotspots to families in need and grading has changed to a pass-fail system. I have a surprise for you. To keep kids engaged, teachers make regular home visits. Victor Martinez stays with his mother while his dad continues to work his construction job. Best teacher ever. <laughs> Today, we're gonna read a book. We have teachers videotaping themselves actually teaching lessons and posting that because... And that's not required, is it? Absolutely not. And so to just be able to see my staff and all of us step up, to meet the needs, where we are, it's been what keeps me going. Everybody say bye. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Mireya Villarreal, Fort Worth, Texas.